The volume of expert deliveries shows that plywood made in Ukraine is popular in Europe, and Ukrainian boards made of wood shavings, so-called MDF, medium density fiber board, are exported to the United States, the country where the technology was invented. Why are domestic pressed building materials so popular? Ukrainian manufacturers reveal the secrets of their success. Researchers attribute the first mention of plywood to the 15th century BC. A chest veneered with ebony tree plates was found on the territory that belonged to the ancient Egyptian state. European countries learned how to produce plywood much later. In the 16th century, French craftsmen also used plates of precious wood to create exquisite furniture. But most importantly, such furniture was much cheaper than furniture made of a whole piece of rare and valuable wood. In the late 18th century, Swedish engineer Emmanuel Noble invented the rotary machine. It allowed reducing veneer and making the plywood sandwich, uniform in structure and thickness. It is said that this device became the prototype of modern exfoliation machines. To successfully compete in the conditions of today's market, it is important to have efficient production. Ideally, this is so-called zero-waste production. One Kyiv plywood manufacturing plant managed to do just that. The plant found an application for what was previously considered waste. So what are high-quality MDF boards made of these days? It is pressed material made from dried wood chips. It is worth mentioning that the acronym MDF, as well as the idea of making such boards, was born in America. In 1960, the so-called detrimental wet method of production was replaced by dry pressing. Wood shavings laid out in the form of a carpet were transformed into fiberboard using a hot press. Natural polymers are used as the main binder of substances. To make the board more durable, formaldehyde group resin materials are added, but factory experts say that compared to particle boards, their quantity is minimal. There are German presses that we bought, and there are domestic presses, but all of them work in the semi-automatic mode. Loading and unloading is done by the machines. Of course, better modern lines exist, but they cost millions of euros. Although we are not yet able to buy them, in this area we are among the first. Illiquid waste is burned in the oven, which they build using their own manpower. That allowed the key plywood production plant to save on heating and solve the problem of disposal. According to the management, as a result of such dual economy, the company brings in $150 million in additional revenues per year. We strive to improve the product quality and environmental safety at the plant. We also treat our factory's sewage system to avoid being penalized. It turned out that plywood is a very promising material. In recent years it is used not only in furniture production, but also aircraft and ship production. Press building materials are widely used in the decoration of interiors or as the basis for parquet, lemonade, linoleum or carpeting cover as excellent thermal and sound insulation. Therefore, quality control at the Kyiv plywood production plant is constant. Testing laboratories are functional in every workshop. In the workshop, we check fiberboard and wood chips, which is a part of production. We also conduct the input control of resin. In the process of manufacturing the board, we check the working solutions and its quality every two hours. The fiberboard production line is fully automated. A huge press occupies almost the entire shop. Operators monitor the speed of the machine and maintain the necessary humidity of the materials. They say that constant monitoring is important for products to be top-notch. By the results of the test, the workers will know whether to change the settings of the pressing line. The formaldehyde content is good. The product class is E1, which means that the class of formaldehyde emission meets sanitary standards. E1 is an international indicator. It means that Ukrainian products can be used not only in the decoration of rooms, but also for furniture, particularly children's. The company has become competitive, and it is practically the only such company in Ukraine that produces the highest quality plywood, which can compete with products manufactured abroad. Western companies are willing to buy such materials in Ukraine. According to the factory experts, Ukrainian plywood meets international environmental requirements by 100%.
We came from the Republic of Moldova. We deliver goods from here to various countries – Romania, Bulgaria and Italy. We ship from Ukraine, as the product is high quality, the people are hospitable and the roads are good. Plywood has a number of advantages compared to sawed timber. It is equally strong across the surface. Although the boards are large, it does not crack and it bends easily, and it is convenient to transport. Therefore, the produced materials do not stay long in the warehouse of the Kyiv plywood production plant. See how many vehicles have arrived since morning. Sometimes our lot is full until the evening. Everything produced during a shift is sold the very same day. Even if we have some unsold products left, we offload them the next day. According to designers, the use of plywood in the interior allows to create light and unusual designs. And last but not least, the environmentally friendly material is also what attracts customers. In Europe, high-quality samples have long been classified as products of solid wood. That is why Ukrainian plywood is imported by around 20 countries, in particular the US, UK, Belgium, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Poland, Romania, Hungary, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Turkey, Syria, Jordan, Libya, Egypt, Japan, Belarus and Moldova. China requests simple plywood, but we do not sell that, as we produce only high-quality products. The main advantage of domestic plywood is that we are trying to avoid making it in the simplest way. Instead, we make products polished on both sides, the quality of European class and conforms to European standards. Nobody is waiting for no one with open arms there. Market conditions are very harsh. Ukrainian plywood has to be of the highest quality to compete with foreign analogs. Therefore, the Kyiv factory employs the latest technologies. The company complies with the requirements of modern science. It did not stop on old models and it introduces new technologies. And thanks to that, it releases new products. I believe that to be very important. The Kyiv factory has been producing plywood for more than a hundred years, but technologies have changed significantly over recent years. These days not any wood is suitable for plywood production. Using such woods as birch and alder allows for obtaining highly durable veneer. See, it doesn't break if it's bent, which is very important when producing plywood of various thickness. The wood is steamed at first, then passed through modern shelling machines. On the way out we have veneer only one and a half millimeters thick. If there are snags, they are carefully fixed on a special machine. The material is folded in several layers, directed in different directions. That makes plywood harder. Boards are glued together with a special substance made from low toxin resins. That makes the product safe for people. Therefore, Ukrainian manufacturers are trying to preserve the brand. We do not export products with high content of formaldehyde. Therefore, we try to make plywood of E1 emission class. In addition, the Kyiv plywood production plant mastered the production technology of enhanced humidity and fire resistance. This plywood has a large range of applications, that is, the production of rail cars, buses and airplanes, and use in agriculture and the construction industry. The company assures that it can produce up to 200 cubic meters of fire-resistant plywood per month. The products are very popular abroad because ours are cheaper, including MDF boards, plywood production waste and substandard wood serve as raw materials for them. The orders are numerous. The plant processes such a pile of wood chips in a day as fiber boards are traditionally the most common material used for furniture.
This wonderful ping-pong table is made exclusively with Ukrainian materials. The price is pleasantly surprising, not to mention how much fun it is to play this game. We built the first MDF production plant in Ukraine. We borrowed German technologies, purchased German machines and invited German experts to work with us. We even trained in Germany. I took my people there for training. We launched all 15 Russian plants that are built there. We organized production in all SIS countries. In short, we helped everybody. The company employees are sure that it does not matter what you produce if you want to go international. The main condition is getting the international certificate of quality and manufacturing high-quality products. And the more certified enterprises are operating here, the sooner Ukraine will build up and flex its export muscle.